Five, four, three, two. What's up, Peloton family? I'm Dennis Morton. Welcome to another episode of On the Leaderboard, the Peloton series where we get real with some of your favorite guests about what it takes to show up and work it out. Joining me today is a woman who truly does it all. She's an iconic singer, songwriter, two-time New York Times best-selling author, entrepreneur, wife, and mother of three. Please join me in welcoming the incredible Jesse James Decker! <laughs> So Jesse, how are you feeling? I'm scared. My palms are sweating. I'm a little nervous. It's different than doing it at home because you you can't call me out through the screen. But now you're like in person, <laughs> so I feel like I have no excuses. I've got to power through this. This is just this is a lot, but I'm up for the challenge. So you feel exactly like I do every time <laughs> I climb on to teach. All right, we're gonna kick this thing off with a warm up. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get rolling. Slide your hips back in the saddle. Lift your front and back ribs. Get nice and tall, long and strong. Relax the shoulders. Easy bend in the elbows. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just make it look cute. Okay. How did you first discover Peloton? It was in 2020. And I'm like, I'm gonna need to stay in shape and get some energy out. Have you ever taken my class? No, I have never taken your class. But there's still but time. But I'm taking your class right now. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Important question. What was your childhood dream? What did you want to be when you grew up? I always knew I wanted to sing country music. Ever since I was a little girl, um, loved singing. Started performing for my family when I was like three, four years old. And I loved country music, grew up in the South. You know, I believe that you can truthfully manifest and things can, can happen the way you dream if you really work for it. Who would be your dream writing partner? Post Malone. Post Malone? I love Posty. Thing, I got to interview him at the Billboard Awards and I was like, when are you making a country record? He said one day. <laughs> All right, Jesse. Jess Sims put Usain Bolt through it in episode one and I'm about to put you through it now. Okay. It's trivia time on the leaderboard. We're gonna see just how well you know your country music. Are you ready to sweat? Okay. Great, let's get into it. Who's the best-selling female artist in country music of all time? Shania Twain. Of course you know it. Add a little more cadence. Which country star sang the Dukes of Hazard theme song? Ooh, uh, Waylon Jennings. A little bit faster, a little okay. more cadence, let's go. What was Dolly Parton's first number one single? The four choices are Joshua, The Bargain Store, Jolene, or I Will Always Love You. Jolene? It was Joshua, turn up that resistance a little. Ah, oh, shoot, okay. To what childhood illness did Patsy Cline attribute her booming voice? Was it rheumatic fever, mumps, tonsillitis, or diphtheria? I wanna say tonsillitis because it affects the voice a little bit. It's an excellent guess, but she attributed it to rheumatic fever. Turn that knob just a little. Uh. Add some resistance. It's getting hot in here. Why did Reba McIntyre almost miss her Grand Ole Opry debut? Was it because security wouldn't let her in? She had the wrong date? Her car broke down or a snowstorm? I want to say her car broke down. Security wouldn't let her in. What? Add Why? resistance. Why Turn the knob. They? Turn the knob. And we've got one more question. Who recorded two of his best selling albums in prison? Johnny Cash. Yeah, a little bit faster. This is pretty intense. Yo, you were amazing. Not bad. You I'm are a country bad. music genius. Well, thank you. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> All right, Jesse, for our second workout segment. I think it's time we put these songwriting skills to the test Let's and do it. make a hit. What? A hit! Oh. Bring out that guitar. Oh, like really? Oh, like really. So, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be pedaling. Okay. And, and during that time, you and I are gonna make a song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> do you have a chord progression you want? No, I don't think so. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Woke up this morning, went to my bike. The Peloton's so nice. You can't go wrong when you wake up on your Peloton. I want to make my legs look nice. All the way to the top of my butt so it stays real tight. <laughs> oh, Peloton. Oh, Peloton. You can't go wrong. Oh, Peloton. Oh, Peloton. No. Keep my legs looking extra nice All the way to the top of my butt So it stays real tight Oh, Peloton No, you can't go wrong <laughs> Can you 
You gotta give me something. I'm playing the music. I think we wrote the new theme song. That feels like a hit. Oh, wow, <laughs> thank you. So I want to hear about this new song you've got out, Should Have Known Better, the Dave O'Day remix. Yes. So Should Have Known Better is my brand new single, but we wanted to have a little bit of a dance remix. Um, so we had Dave O'Day do it, and it sounds so cool. I'm so obsessed with it. I really feel like it just jams it up a little no, bit. Oh, so am I. I love it. Oh, good. All right. This is one of my favorite segments of the show. We always close out on the leaderboard with a series of rapid fire questions as we sprint it out. Are you ready? I think so. Now, what we're gonna do is get you rolling. Okay. And then you're gonna either build speed or resistance. Okay. While I ask you questions. Now, first question, we ready? I think so. Oh, good. What's your favorite part of being on tour? Uh, seeing all my fans. Awesome. Turn it up a touch. Okay. What's the hardest part of being on tour? Not sleeping. Name three must-haves you must have in your tour bus. Chapstick, my iPad, and a humidifier. You talked about the new song. Can you sing it for us? Should have known better than to break my heart. While you sprint, can you sing the most bizarre vocal warm up that you do? Sure. Get those legs moving. Okay. <laughs> Who's your dream artist to perform with? Post Malone or Shania Twain. And let's turn it up for both of them. Okay. <laughs> Who is in your top three celeb crushes? Past or present? My husband, does he count? He definitely counts. Okay, Eric Decker, Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> and Brad Pitt. Best songwriting tip? Go with your instincts. Best part of being a country star? All the free beer. <laughs> <laughs> Best advice for starting a business? Hire the right people. What would you consider your greatest superpower? Don't slow down now. <laughs> Don't slow down now. I can make people laugh sometimes. You already know. are. Would you rather visit your future or your past and why? My past. To tell her it's gonna work out. <laughs> Love that. If Jesse James Decker had a catchphrase, what would it be? Just do it, baby. Just do it, baby? What's the hardest job you've ever had? Peanut sweeper at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> and who is your biggest hero? My mom, my mom, my mom. <laughs> you. In three, two, one. <sighs> we're finished? Well done. <laughs> that was intense, my friend. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cool it down, Jesse. Bring okay. your cadence down anywhere 60 to 90 that feels comfortable for, for you. Okay. Resistance 20 to 30. Okay. Just start to get your breath back. So what's coming next for Jesse James Decker and family? The rest of my tour for this year, uh, end of summer tour, and then I have to finish my next cookbook. So that will be turned in, and I will have that book out uh, fall of 23, so I'm very excited about that. Are you working on new music? I am working on new music. I actually have a song that I have held on to for a couple of years um, that I will be putting out in the next couple months, and I am over the moon excited about it. That's amazing. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's been a thrill to have you. So much fun. Thank you, Peloton family. Thank you, new Peloton family. Yes, and subscribe to Peloton's YouTube channel where you can check out our next episode where your favorite guests come to work it out and keep it real. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs>